Hello, my name is Dark Wolfhart, and today I'm going to be going through my top 10 uh, book series that I've read and that I really like. None of these are quite in order anyway, they're just a bit of random, because um, the first ones I just want to get out of the way because everybody knows them, so we're going to get into it. So, at number 10 is The Lord of the Rings. Now, The Lord of the Rings is an epic high fantasy novel by the English author and scholar J.R. Tolkien. Set in Middle-earth, the story begins as a sequel to Tolkien's 1937 children's book, The Hobbit, but eventually developed into a much larger work. Don't really need to go into much more detail on uh, this series, because either you've read the books or you watch the movie, so you know what it's about. It's about a bunch of uh, little people trying to throw a ring into a giant volcano. So, that's it. In at number 9 is The Witcher. The Witcher is a series of six fantasy novels and 15 short stories written by the Polish author Andrzej Sapkowski. The series revolves around the Witcher, Geralt of Rivia, given supernatural abilities at a long, uh, young age to battle wild beasts and monster. There has been nine books so far, with apparently a new one being written soon, but most probably people who watched the series got bored maybe halfway through it and then quit it because it wasn't that great. But go and play The Witcher 3. That'll give you some idea what this is all about. It's fantastic. Number 8, A Song of Fire and Ice. A Song of Ice and Fire is a series of epic fantasy novels by American novelist and screenwriter George R. R. Martin. A Song of Ice and Fire depicts a violent world largely without magic and dominated by political realism. What little supernatural power that remains is confined to the margins of the known world. Moral ambiguity provides the books and their stories continually raise the questions concerning loyalty, pride, human sexuality, piety, and the morality of violence. So far, five books have been released and readers are waiting on the last two. Number seven, the Sword of Shannara trilogy. The Sword of Shannara trilogy consists of the first three Shannara novels, The Sword of Shannara, The Owlstones of Shannara, and The Wish Song of Shannara by Terry Brooks. Each book follows the next generation of the Oms family. And number six, Redwall. Redwall is a series of children's fantasy novels by British writer Brian Jacks. The series chronicles the adventures of the anthropomorphic animals inhabiting Redwall Abbey and the surrounding countryside of moss flower wood, including mice, moles, hares, badgers and other woodland species. Frequently, the peace-loving creatures of Mossflower are called upon to become warriors to defend themselves from marauding bands of vermin such as rats, weasels and foxes. There are 22 books in this series. At 5, The King Killer Chronicles. The King Killer Chronicles is a fantasy trilogy by American writer Patrick Rothfuss. The series centres on a man named Kuth, an infamous adventurer and musician telling his life story to a scribe. The book is told in a story-within-a-story format, a frame narrative that relates the present day in which Kuth runs an inn under the assumed name and is told in omniscient third person. The main plot, making up the majority of the books and concerning the actual detail of Kuth's life, is told in the first person. The series also contains metafictional stories within stories from fairy and perspective that tie into the main plot in various ways. So far, only two books have been released, with two novellas as well. 4. It's Wheel of Time The Wheel of Time is a series of high fantasy novels by American author Robert Jordan, with Brandon Sanderson as a co-author for the three final novels. It has a total collection of 14 books in this series. The Eye of the World revolves around protagonists Randall Fall, Matt Trim, Corfin, and Perrin Abara, Egwin Alfir, and Nafin Almira. After their hometown Edmundfield is unexpectedly attacked by Trollocs and a Midril slash Fade, intent on capturing Ran, Matt and Perrin. Next up is the Farsi Trilogy. The Farsi Trilogy is a series of fantasy novels by American author Robin Hobb, set in and around the fictional realm of the Six Duchies. It tells the story of Fitz, Ch Fitz Chival Farsi, known as Fitz, an illegitimate son of a prince who is trained as an assassin. Political machinations within the royal family threatens his life and the kingdom is beset by naval raids. Fitz possesses two forms of magic, the telepathic skill that runs in a raw line and the socially deprived wit that enables bonding with animals. The series follows his life as he seeks to restore stability to the kingdom. A 2. Balgariad. The Balgariad is a five-book fantasy epic written by David Eddings, following the journey of protagonist Garion and his companions, first to recover a sacred stone and later to use it against the antagonist Torak. It was a bestseller from the first book in the series. It has been called both the last gap, gasp 
of traditional fantasy and one of the founding mega sagas of modern fantasy. And randomly at number one is the Riff War Saga. The Riff War Saga is a series of fantasy novels by American writer Raymond E. Feast, the first series in the Riff War cycle. This trilogy includes a book, The Magician, Silver Fawn, and A Darkness at Sevenon. There are 31 books in the whole Riff War Raw cycle, so that's a lot of reading to get through. The story follows the early life of friends Puck and Thomas as the world is overtaken by war against alien faders who appear via portals. So, that has been my top 10 book series. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked any of the books on here, tell me in the comments. If there's something I'm missing that I need to know about, tell me. I have read a lot of books, so there might be some of your favourites that I am missing. But, I have been Dark Wolf Up. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you again. Goodbye.